morning everyone and welcome to the Country Living Homestead. So today is a little bit of a change of pace. We are in the living room and we are getting ready to unbox our new breast chicks. They just came in the mail this morning. So far I have brought in a tote because I will be keeping these chicks um, next to the wood stove for about the first week or two. That's how I plan to keep them warm. I usually do this with my chicks. In addition to keeping them next to the wood stove, I will usually get a gallon jug or two of hot water and put it in the tote as well and then cover the tote just to make sure they're nice and toasty in there. So the first thing I need to do is get the feeder and the water put in and then I'm going to go ahead and unbox the chicks. These are breast chicks. My husband ordered them before he passed away from Greenfire Farms. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them in the tote. All right, so what I got set up so far is I have the water, I have their feeder with chick crumble in there. It's a 20% starter ration. Um, these birds will not be, they, even though they are breast chickens, we're not growing them out to eat them. We are growing them out to be future producers of more chicks. So I'm not putting them on like a 30%. And we also have a hot water bottle. This is just a two liter soda bottle that I rinsed out really well and I filled it up with hot tap water. And that will give the chicks something to huddle around if they get too chilly. And I usually refill that a couple of times a day to keep it warm. You could even use a larger bottle if you wanted to get through the night and give them something to, to huddle around. So now that I have that all set up, I'm going to go ahead and unbox the chicks. So there are the chicks. From what I can see, everyone looks good. Yeah, they look pretty good. They're warm to the touch. So it looks like they have fared pretty well on their journey. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take each of these chicks and I'm going to dip their beak in the water. As you can see, some of the chicks are already drinking on their own. It really doesn't take long if you dip their beaks. And they've already found the food. Now, I wanted to talk a little bit about what I have on the bottom of this. Normally, I would use newspaper and paper towels over top of it to give the chicks some traction and to have something that was kind of absorbent. Um, this time, I decided to use puppy pads. I had some extras laying around, so I decided to use those in here because while I'm keeping the chicks in the house, it will really keep the dust down so I won't have everything I own coated in chick dust. But in addition to that, they're just really easy to take everything out of here, roll these pads up, throw in some new ones, and keep the or keep their um, toe a lot cleaner. So we've only got three more. And there we go. Everybody looks good and healthy. They're eating, they're drinking. So I couldn't be happier. I 
I really like heating my chicks next to my wood stove and also with some hot water bottles instead of the red heat lamps. I find that I get less poopy butt with my chicks when I'm just heating them naturally like this. Um, they're less stressed out, but you do have to keep a closer eye on them. You will notice that if you're, uh, just keep an eye out if your chicks start to huddle or they start chirping really loud. Those are a couple of signs that they might be too cold. So if you're planning on heating your chicks without a lamp, make sure you do your research on that and just keep a very close eye on them and look for any sort of signs of distress or any signs that they may be cold. As you can see right now, we have a couple back there that are huddling around that hot water bottle. So it won't take them long to figure out that that is a heat source for them if they get chilly. And they'll normally go stand there for a few minutes and warm up and then just come back out and join the rest of the chicks. So this method, we've been doing this now for probably five or six years. It works really well for us. But again, if you're planning on employing a method similar to this, do your own research. I also like to put a cover over the back half of this because that side is pointed toward our the door that we use to come in and out of the house. So I don't like to have any drafts or anything like that come up over the chicks if we open the door. So this blocks that and prevents that from happening and it also helps keep a little bit more of the heat in. Another thing that I really like to do with the chicks at first is when I give them water, I don't give them cold water. I give them warm water, especially when they first get here and they've been through the shipping process. They can be a little bit chilled. So giving them warm water instead of cold seems to help. Well, thanks so much for stopping by the homestead today and have a great day.